Bay Sellers, welcome back to another video tip. And I went to get the mail today and there was a surprise. Um, when you're an eBay seller, you never know what you might get. Um, but I got this package that I had sent, if you can see, to South Africa. I sent this back in December, actually December the 8th. And um, had never shipped to South Africa before just figured it'd be all right and um, it never got there so the buyer filed a claim um, probably in late January and I had shipped this myself not through the global shipping um, I've always shipped direct never used global shipping and I had put um, ship insurance insurance on this which I think it's called world post now and um, so I filed a claim with World Post and got my money back and lo and behold here we are on May 31st and it showed up so it came right back to me um, with some paperwork uh, like a manifest where they had tried to deliver it to the person and apparently uh, she had moved or given the wrong address or something um, but this just shows you that things will make their way back to you if um, in some cases this was actually a handbag that I was doing on consignment for the job networking group that I sell things for uh, for the church and um, so I'll just list it again and try to resell it um, will I mark South Africa off of my list of places to ship to no I won't um, there's very few places I don't ship to one is Mexico because in the past I have had trouble with things getting across the border and I just think that is um, that's a problem for me and I just don't want to ship there anymore. Um, Italy I don't ship to because their sales tax is really high in that country somewhere between 22 and 25 percent so the Italian government wants their citizens to buy items from within their country so they can charge them sales tax. Anything they buy on the internet is not taxed so they don't want a lot of things coming into their country for that reason. They make a lot of finer goods there like um, leather goods, uh, jewelry, uh, high fashion clothing, things made of animal hair and all of that is on their restricted list so it's really hard to get things into Italy so I just quit shipping there. Um, so that's probably another video but anyway um, this is just something that happens I've had things come back like this before when I was doing my business on eBay UK years ago from about 2006 to 2009 I was shipping 10 to 15 things a day overseas and sometimes they wouldn't get there they would come back so this just shows you that um, I knew exactly what this was when I saw South Africa and it says on here leather handbag um, oh, I'm doing this backwards leather handbag so I knew what it was and uh, I haven't even opened it yet and it's exactly the way I taped it up back in December um, so I'm not anti-global shipping I've just always done it myself and I feel like um, well I know for a fact that eBay is trying to systematize the international shipping and so what they do is on everything that goes out it has customs fees and it is shipped priority even if it doesn't have to be or doesn't need customs fees so they're just making these policies across the board for everything that goes through global shipping and that can make it more expensive for your international customers I've had people tell me um, pointing out to my Australian friends in the Facebook group, Andrea, uh, <laughs> uh, that they won't buy things from Americans through global shipping because it's too expensive. So this can give you a competitive edge if you learn to ship things yourself, learn to do it direct. It's not hard. Everything you need is right there on eBay. You just put insurance on it. Um, it's not tracking it's insurance because really once anything leaves the US there's no tracking um, it's, it's impossible to track it but um, it's insurance so if something doesn't make it you can file a claim and get your money back 
So this video tip turned out to be really long, sorry. Um, just wanted to show you this, that um, I'm just like everybody else. Things go wrong, things come back, and it's not a matter of if something's going to go wrong, it's how you respond to it, how you handle it, and how you learn from it. So thanks for watching and have a great day on eBay. Bye.